So yesterday we got some pretty surprising and pretty sad news with Corey Crawford officially announcing his retirement and I say it's surprising because he signed a two-year deal with the Devils this offseason. This is what Corey Crawford had to say, I have been fortunate to have had a long career playing professional hockey for a living. I wanted to continue my career but believe I've given all I can to the game of hockey and decided that it is time to retire. I would like to thank the New Jersey Devils organization for understanding and supporting my decision. I would like to thank the Chicago Blackhawks organization for giving me the chance to live my childhood dream. I am proud to have been part of winning two Stanley Cups in Chicago. So this is pretty disappointing news for the New Jersey Devils. I know a lot of Devils fans were looking forward to having a Mackenzie Blackwood and Corey Crawford goaltending tandem for the next couple of seasons. Crawford is 36 years old. He's somebody who has really struggled with concussions throughout his NHL career. And just given the current circumstances, everything going on in the world, it's completely understandable that he'd make this decision. If you're one of those people who are saying Crawford should have made this decision before signing a two-year deal with the Devils and are upset about this, just don't be. Don't be that person. So shout out to Corey Crawford for an incredible NHL career and wishing him all the best in retirement. But with that news coming out, it kind of got me thinking, who are some other NHL players that are likely to retire in the very near future? So in today's video, I'm going to go over seven NHL players who I think are likely playing their final NHL season in 2021. Now first things first, Joe Thornton, not going to be in this video. Back in March, he said he believes he has at least a few more seasons left in him and Joe Thornton is somebody that just loves the game so much I feel like he's gonna play until he literally just cannot play anymore so no Joe Thornton in the video because I don't think this season is going to be his last I wanted to make sure I got that out of the way right from the get-go because I knew if I didn't talk about it a lot of people in the comments would be asking why Joe Thornton wasn't in the video as always be sure to go follow my social medias like Instagram and Twitter links to those will of course be down below in the description and most importantly if this is your first time on the channel and you want more NHL content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. The season is starting soon. If you're a hockey fan, this is definitely the place you want to be. And now with all that out of the way, let's begin. Starting off the video, the first player we have to talk about is goaltender Ryan Miller for the Anaheim Ducks. Following the conclusion of the 2019-20 season for the Anaheim Ducks, there was some uncertainty when it came to Ryan Miller's future. Obviously, a part of that had to do with the fact he's 40 years old now, but a lot of that also had to do with the pandemic and just the general uncertainty about the entire league moving forward at that time. When asked about his future following last season, Ryan Miller said, Hockey is very important to me, but I'm trying to be realistic. I'm at the tail end of a long career, and I would love to play so I'm going to hum and haw for you guys. I really like to play, it's a lot of fun, but I really want to see where things end up. As we all know, he didn't retire, signed a one-year deal to return to the Ducks for the 2020-21 NHL season, but I definitely do think that this will likely be the last season we see Ryan Miller play in the National Hockey League. My reasoning for that? Well, obviously his age for one, and the fact that he had already been contemplating retirement after last season. Now, it's certainly not like bad play is pushing Ryan Miller out of the NHL in the last three seasons with the Anaheim Ducks. In a limited role, he's actually served as a pretty good backup to John Gibson, putting up some solid numbers, all things considered. And it'll be interesting to see if Ryan Miller can do that again this upcoming season for the Anaheim Ducks as a 40-year-old. I'd imagine they won't be relying on him a whole lot. Number two is Zidane Chara of the Washington Capitals. I think that's actually the first time I've said that out loud and it's pretty weird. So as we all know, Zidane Chara did sign a one-year contract with the Washington Capitals for this upcoming season and I was definitely a little surprised by it. I personally thought that he was either going to return to the Boston Bruins for another season or just retire. Now after he signed that one-year deal with the Capitals, it came out that Boston was willing to bring Chara back but it was going to be in like a very, very limited role where he probably won't even be in the lineup on most nights. And I certainly don't blame Chara for turning that down. Obviously, he still feels like he has a lot more to give than just being an extra defenseman. And why not feel that way, right? Obviously, Chara is not the defenseman that he once was, but over the past couple of seasons, he's still been solid. I'll be honest, Zdeno Chara in Washington is something I'm really excited to watch this season because they are in the same division as Boston and you're only playing teams within your division. So Chara is going to be facing Boston, what, like eight or nine times? however many times it is, I know it's a lot. It's going to be hilarious watching Chara out there, you know, beating up on the Boston Bruins like he used to do to every other team as a member of the Bruins. Me personally, I think that's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. He's 43 years old now though, which is pretty insane. So I would imagine that this is likely going to be his final NHL season. Back in early September, I remember he was asked about whether he was returning or retiring. He said he had not made a decision yet. So it was something he was obviously contemplating. So we'll see what the future holds for Big Z. If if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but hey, I wouldn't mind watching Chara, you know, playing the NHL till he's like 45 or something. 
Number three, we have Patty Marlowe of the San Jose Sharks. This offseason, he signed a deal to return to the Sharks for what, like the third time now? It feels like we've been, you know, kind of having this conversation on whether Patrick Marlowe is going to retire or not for like the past three years, and he just hasn't yet. This past season for the Sharks and the Penguins in 66 games, he had 11 goals and 22 points. He still produces. I think as long as he plays, he's going to be a threat offensively. Now, the reason that I think this upcoming season will likely be the last for Patty Marlowe is because he is 44 games away from breaking Gordy Howe's record for the most games played in NHL history at 1,767. It's a 56 game season, so if Patty Marlowe stays healthy and if he's a regular in the Sharks lineup, it is highly likely that he's going to break that record. I mean, I don't know what Patty Marlowe's thinking, but if I were him, I would definitely want to break that record, especially being that close, and especially considering it's very, very unlikely he's going to win a Stanley Cup given the current state of the San Jose Sharks. So I think it'd be kind of cool for Patty Marlowe to, you know, sort of go out on top being the player with the most games played in NHL history, which would be a pretty insane record to have. Now, let's say Patty Marlowe gets injured or something, which hopefully he doesn't, but if he does and he misses some games, I honestly don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities that he returns for one more season just to get that record. I mean, he's that close. Why not? So we'll see what happens, but I do think there is a very, very high chance this is Patty Marlowe's final season. Moving along now to number four, we have Miku Koivu of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Similar to Chara being on the Capitals, that sounds pretty weird. So after last season with the Minnesota Wild, Miku Koivu's contract was up and the Minnesota Wild announced that they would not be bringing him back. They're going in a different direction. After that came out, I kind of thought that we would see Miku Koivu retire. He had spent his entire NHL career with the Minnesota Wild, you know, 37 years old. That is obviously not the case though. He signed a one-year deal with the Columbus Blue Jackets in free agency and I actually think that it is a pretty solid pickup for the Blue Jackets. Sure, Koivu is 37 years old. Offensively, his game has fallen off a cliff, but he is still a really solid defensive centerman in like a third or fourth line role. I think he'll do just fine for at least one more season. I'm sure he's going to be a great role model in Columbus as well, and it'll be good for the younger players like Alexander Texier and Emil Bemstrom to learn from him. And also with Koivu, like I said, being a real solid defensive forward still, I think John Tortorella is absolutely going to love coaching him. Like a lot of the other players we've already talked, about in this video, Koivu was undecided about his future and was contemplating retirement after the Wild announced that they weren't bringing him back, so I think it's pretty likely that this could be his final season. Number five now, we have David Backus of the Anaheim Ducks. I sort of actually forgot he was on the Ducks until the other day he was placed on waivers by them. Obviously, no one's going to claim David Backus off waivers with his current contract. He makes $6 million this season, but it is the final year of that contract. So with David Backus being placed on waivers, he may not even be playing in the NHL this season. He could be in the American Hockey League, or he may just be like an extra forward for the Ducks or something because teams are allowed to carry a lot more players this year. So nonetheless, like I said, this is the final year year of David Backus's contract, so next offseason he will be an unrestricted free agent, but the reason I think that this will likely be his final NHL season is because he's obviously struggling to make the Ducks team, and if that's the case, I find it highly unlikely that there will be a team that offers him a contract next offseason when he's a free agent. Backus is the only player we're going to talk about in this video that doesn't really have, you know, a spot on a team for this upcoming season, so for a lot of the other guys we talked about in the video, the biggest reason why I think this could be their last season is just because of their age, but when it comes to David Backus, it's kind of because he just may not be NHL caliber anymore. Number six, now we have Jason Spezza of the Toronto Maple Leafs, who this offseason signed a one-year deal to return to Toronto for this upcoming season, and it makes sense as to why Toronto decided to bring Jason Spezza back, because this past season, he was actually pretty solid, 25 points in 58 games, which is the highest points per game he's finished a season with since the 2016-17 season with Dallas. Now, out of all the players in this video, if I had to pick one one that I think is most likely to play at least one more season after this one, I think it would be Jason Spezza. To me, it really all depends on how Jason Spezza does, because if he has another season like the one that he just had, where he plays pretty well and produces at a good rate for the Maple Leafs, then I could honestly see them bringing him back on another one-year contract. But maybe if we see a drop in performance and production from Jason Spezza this upcoming season, and then the Leafs decide they don't want to bring him back for the 2021-22 season, then I think it's highly likely that he retires. At this point, I don't really see Jason Spezza playing for any other team than the Maple Leafs. I feel like he probably 
wants to end off his career as a Maple Leaf. So we'll see what type of season Jason Spezza has. But like I said, I feel like it all comes down to just how well he plays and if the Maple Leafs, you know, want to bring him back for another year or not. And now finally, number seven, the final player we're going to talk about in today's video, defenseman Andy Green for the New York Islanders. Green had spent his entire NHL career with the New Jersey Devils up until last year's NHL trade deadline when the Devils dealt him to the Islanders. And New York must have liked what they saw from Andy Green while he was a part of the team because they decided to sign him to a one-year deal for this upcoming season. And I do think that was a smart move by the Islanders, you know, bringing Andy Green back for one more season because they lost a bit of depth on the blue line this offseason, having to trade away Devin Tays for some picks because they just couldn't afford to re-sign him. And then also with Johnny Boychuk retiring. Now, the reason that I think this will likely be Andy Green's final season, it pretty much just comes down to age. He's 38, has played a total of 933 NHL games. Now, I definitely feel like there is potential I could be wrong here. After the Islanders were eliminated from the 2020 playoffs, Andy Green said he had no plans to retire at that point. And with Green having 933 NHL games, maybe he wants to chase that 1,000 games mark since he is so close. But in order to do that, he would have to play more than just this upcoming season because of course it's only 56 games. So I figured I would feature Andy Green in the video just because of his age, but I definitely would not be surprised if I'm wrong about this one. So that is going to do it for today's video. Those were seven NHL players who I think are likely playing their final season in 2021. Be sure to get down there in the comment section and let me know your predictions for these players. Do you think they're going to retire after this season or do you think they have a couple of more seasons left in them? And also if there's some players that you think are likely playing their final season that I did not talk about in today's video, be sure to let me know down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave it a like. That is the best way to show your support. And most importantly, if this is your first time on the channel and you want more NHL content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will talk to you all in the next video.